far from the front line, in a village near the city of Lviv, they felt the force of this morning's ballistic and hypersonic missile barrage. The message from Russia, nowhere and no one in Ukraine is safe, and any family home could be hit. Here in Kyiv, a strike appears to have been averted by air defences, but falling shrapnel from the mid-air explosion broke windows and destroyed cars. All done in the name of the Russian people, who've been told they're fighting Ukrainian Nazis. I hope that some people in Russia maybe have a little brain, a little, and they understand two that people. maybe, maybe two people. Two people in maybe Russia three have people, a brain. Maybe four people, I don't know. But I hope that um, some people understand this, that this war is not war with Nazis, and this war is war just with people, because Putin thinks that he, he can do this, so why not? Do you think they just believe the propaganda, or what is it? Yeah, absolutely. Look, from 1991 in Russia, uh, was very big uh, propaganda machine that works every day, every week, every year. And all people that look TV, they saw that Ukrainian is bad people. Uh, so, so, yeah, it's propaganda, yeah. Dangerous propaganda. The nuclear power plant near Zaporizhia was knocked off the grid. Yet again, Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is running on emergency diesels. The last, the last line of defense. This is the sixth time. Let me say it again. This is the sixth time that the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant has lost all of site power and has had to operate in this emergency mode. The Russian Defense Ministry showed missiles being launched and said the barrage was in response to an alleged sabotage attack inside Russia last week. Or was it to compensate for their failure to push Ukrainian forces out of Bakhmut? To show Ukrainian tenacity is no match for Russia's high-tech arsenal and determination.